Hello everyone, I am Boran. In this video I will be solving a question about sources of magnetic fields. Uh, in this question we have uh, two infinitely long wires. Uh, one uh, is straight wire and other has a little semisphere here. And the question uh, one uh, asks what is A if uh, we want to make P uh, make the magnetic field uh, at P zero. Uh, so we can uh, start by calculating the magnetic field caused by the uh, wire on the left. Uh, in order to solve that, we will use um, uh, this formula equals to uh, mu zero over four pi times uh, I dl uh, 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 this one divided by R squared we also learn. so um, by the way uh, uh, for this line from here to the uh, minus infinity there is no effect on the magnetic field here and for, uh, from here to the infinity, there is again no uh, effect to the magnetic field at P. Uh, all we will consider is, will be this one. Now this is a semi-sphere, so we, we can calculate uh, the magnetic field here by calculating the entire, semi uh, the entire circle and uh, dividing it. By two. This is not a sphere, by the way, a semicircle. Um, so, by the way, um, this is um, the L, and this is R. Uh, so, we will have um, the magnetic field uh, towards to, uh, the board. So um, this part um, will determine the uh, direction of the magnetic field. Uh, we found it, it will uh, go uh, into the board. Uh, so we can get, get rid of vectors. Uh, this will be just dl because this is the unit vector. Um, so dv will be equal to 0 over 4 pi times i dl over r square uh, taking integral uh, of both sides we will have b equals to mu zero is a constant over 4 pi times i uh, is constant for uh, all uh, circle so it goes out and again r square is constant uh, times integral dl. Now this part, we know this part, this is L which equals to um, 2P R. 2P capital R. So uh, B equals to mu zero times I over 2 R square times capital R. Um, but remember this is for the entire circle so we need to divide this by 2 uh, in order to find the uh, effect of the same circle. So if we uh, write a uh, full circle here and full circle here, uh, we will have B semicircle equals to mu 0 i r divided by uh, 4 r square. So this is the uh, magnetic field caused by the semicircle and we need to find the electric field caused by the straight line and uh, in order to find this uh, we will use uh, Ampere's law uh, it was B and DL equals to mu zero times I enclosed now 
if we take a circle like this, uh, we have I enclosed as I. Uh, so V0 times I. And this, uh, this is A. And again, uh, we know that these are uh, parallel to each other, and so that the vectors will disappear. B times BL, and this goes out. B times uh, integral BL will be L, and L will be 2PA. 2PA equals to V0 times I, and uh, for B, B caused by, let's say, line L, B L equals to V0 times I divided by 2 P A. Now remember, uh, for this wire, uh, the uh, magnetic field vector goes in this direction. So here at point P, it uh, goes out from the board. So they are um, this magnetic field and this magnetic field uh, are in the opposite direction so what we need to do is just um, uh, say BS equals to BL so that we will have zero magnetic field here then uh, mu zero times I over 2PA equals to this one mu zero times i r divided by 4 r square this one goes i goes and 2 goes so a equals to 2 r square divided by p times so this is the answer for the question. Thank you for watching. So um, apparently I made a mistake by uh, solving the question. When I wrote the equation, I wrote um, small r instead of capital R here. So um, I need to change this small r with capital R. So a will be equal to 2R over pi. This is capital R. Apologies for my mistake. Um, thank you for watching.